Tim Bixby, Lemonade CFO, just did an interview today, and I want to share with you three important highlights. So let's dive in. Tim seemed really upbeat and confident in this interview, really spreading the Lemonade Q2 earnings letter magic. Magic. And in the first highlight, Tim gave a big preview of what their next country could be. So let's take a listen. Also in Germany, Netherlands, France. Are you guys going to move into the UK market? Because a lot of our viewers are in the UK. I'm personally in the UK. What are the barriers to that potential entry? UK, as you know, is now uh, sort of uh, part of of Europe, but no longer part of Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the insurance regulations have kind of mimicked that. There's some, mm-hmm. some grandfathering that goes on there. But the UK has always been an important potential territory for us. Um, those who are kind of looking around in the market will, will see that we've made some moves towards being prepared to launch in the UK at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's very interesting for us. No formal announcements yet. So based on Tim's wording, it seems very likely that their next country could be the UK that they target uh, to grow into. Of course, I don't know exactly when that would happen. They still have so much potential growth in the countries they are in. But I do know their overall strategy as a company is that they want to continually expand globally so that they can have their foot in the door, having their collecting the mind share of young customers all over the world as they push globally and expand geographically. So based on the little smile Tim gave and the comments he's giving here, I wouldn't be surprised if before long they they have something they're offering in the UK and then eventually expanding to all product, their entire product lineup there. Okay, on highlight number two, let's take a listen. So I wanted to dive a bit deeper into that technology. So was that technology all developed in-house or do you know, was some of that developed from other sources or through acquisitions or was it all developed purely and is any of that technology proprietary in terms of the artificial intelligence the algorithm 100 percent proprietary we built everything okay. from scratch one of our real assets is this system we built it's mm-hmm. a single integrated system built within the just the last few years by a team that's on board working with us today one of our co-founders is actually the first leader of that team that built that first product. Mm-hmm. And that's very rare in insurance to have a single system that does every cycle, every bit of the insurance cycle from start to finish, uh, as opposed to systems cobbled together over, over years, over in some, some cases over decades. One of the things I love about Lemonade is the fact they have this single technology stack. In my mind, companies that have this kind of mastermind vision of what the whole company system could look like and the the values or the the value you could drive from having a single system this is severely underrated and underappreciated and misunderstood by many people uh, in the investing world. Tesla is a great example of this single stack, this sort of seem, this this incredible vision of what the whole sort of product stack could look like. For example, you know how many car companies would have the 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 investment know-how to put cameras and hardware in their vehicles so that years later. Uh, they could be capturing data from those vehicles and creating a vision system that could then allow the vehicles to drive themselves. Uh, Tesla's full self-driving, of course, what I'm talking about. It's incredible. This vertical integration of hardware and software, it just has incredible, incredible value that can be squeezed from it that other people, if they don't have the vision to, to create that structure, that whole seamless structure, they're not going to, they're not going to realize any of those benefits. And in the same way, Lemonade's um, playing the same game that they have this beautiful single structure that can make the whole processing of information extremely efficient, but also can drive a ton of value because they could take all the AI, all the data they're capturing on every, all the data signals that they can capture on any customer, and they could be thousands of data signals you could potentially, small little signals you could be capturing, can harness all that data digitally, collectively in this single system and then create your lifetime value, sort of projected lifetime value of every customer and whether they're going to churn, whether they're claim, and whether they're going to cross-sell. Incredibly valuable, I think extremely misunderstood. And how important is the development of their technology as a whole? Let's listen to highlight number three. So do you guys have a team of data scientists that develop that all in-house? Relative to insurance companies, again, it's it's, it's Mm. the core of the business, something like 25% of our entire uh, 
headcount of the entire business is product technology and data related efforts. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd heard this figure before, but 25% of their entire headcount is related to product development, technology, data related efforts, and what he calls building the core of their business. That's what I just, again, I want to emphasize this again. What I love about Lemonade is that even the CFO of the company is referring to this whole area, which is 25% of the company, a big slice of the company, as the core of the business. Meanwhile, a traditional insurance company might have an IT department or some kind of website or app development department, but they're going to be very siloed and not really driving the company forward and it's sort of a mastermind vision of the company, but really um, siloed away into different little departments where they don't have this elevated sort of cross functional integration that can really bring out um, additional value, uh, bring out additional value and benefits for, for all stakeholders of the company. By the way, if you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, you can join my Patreon. There's only eight more spots remaining at the lowest level and then that level will be gone forever. Definitely having some fun uh, and enjoy talking with some of the Patreon members that are in here. You also get full access to my current Lemonade model. Thank you so much for watching and remember it's in the bag.